Page two, Madam Clerk. Page one, by the way, if you're the Sharps, I took you off calendar and sent you back to Eurisa Court. So anybody's here on that matter, you need to check with Eurisa Court. Um, okay, we are here on the SORS matter. Uh, this is a case where I guess you are trying to not pay the attorney fees that I granted. So this is your motion for, for attorney fees. So you've already granted the attorney fees. You instructed me to file a memorandum of fees and costs, which we did. Your fees and costs seem to be a lot more than the 7500 I granted. Well, and they are. Yeah. And I, I, I already went through the statements right. and I took off things that were in... Sorry. I'm oh, sorry. We're sorry. putting somebody in. in. Okay. Let's get appearances first before we start up again. I, I, I lobbed in. Oh, I'm sorry. Without, it was my fault. All right. Uh, we'll hear appearances on the... Uh, Ms. Roberts, will you introduce yourself and your client? Amanda Roberts, bar number 9294, on behalf of the defendant who is appearing telephonically, Your Honor. Thank you. And? I'm Shanna Suarez, and my attorney, Kevin Beck, is unable to be here today. I'm not showing you have an attorney. So Mr. Beck reached out to me uh, June 7th, I believe, saying that he's representing her. Um, he's been in communication with me consistently. I did let the marshal know. There's no notice of appearance to the court. I understand he didn't file one with the court, and he didn't file the opposition. Okay, so. I'm fine with going forward. We just want to go ahead. Resolved. We're going to go forward because he needed to do a notice of appearance if he wants to come into my courtroom and just suddenly appear. And if he can't make it, you might want to make sure that he does the follow-up to get a continuance. He didn't do anything as far as the court's concerned that I'm aware of. Go ahead. I'll just represent to the court he did ask for a continuance, but this is To you, but not to me. I understand, but it's been dragging on for so long, my client just wants to get it done. Uh, this court awarded attorney fees some time ago when Mr. Friedman was representing the plaintiff. Right. You instructed me to file a motion of memorandum of fees and costs with all of my statements, serve it on counsel. You also said to put it on your chamber's calendar, which is exactly what we did. Um, Mr. Friedman was supposed to contact me and discuss setting a payment schedule toward the attorney fees that were to be awarded by you. That never happened. So I've reached out to Shanna multiple times. Look, we just want to get this resolved. We're still having the same problems that we've been having that are the basis of the attorney fees. And there's this jail sentence hanging overhead. And I've said to Mr. Beck, I just want to get it resolved. We just want to co-parent. That's what we want to do. We want to move this forward and not be in litigation all the time. The court can see from the from the attorney fees. We've billed over $12,000 addressing these co-parenting issues. And I went through and took off some of the communication that dealt with prior issues before Judge Potter. I think the request for 7500 is extremely reasonable under the circumstance. That's what I'm asking the court to reduce to judgment. My client has indicated to me that he's willing to take a, a payment plan. She's asked for a payment plan. I've offered $150 per month on a $7,500 judgment, which I think is extremely reasonable. And he just, I, I don't know where we would go if she was paying less than that. Uh, she claims to not be employed. I just don't know what else I could do for her. But we can't continue to come back here and not have follow through on what the court's ordering. Thank you. Um, I was just laid off on Thursday, um, pending possible reapplication due to uh, budget cuts for the school. So I do apologize for that. I was not a, <clears throat> I was not expecting to be laid off. That was a very big surprise. I do have several applications in for other positions. So it's not that I'm not trying to look for any, um, any excuses on that part. Um, as far as the payments go, I just ask that I pay $100 a month until I get back on my feet with the, um, with the, um, excuse me, with, back with the school district. Uh, there's plenty of job uh, openings and opportunities. And that's all I'm asking for at this point. Mr. Sorris and I have um, communicated back and forth to each other. It has come to an agreement that we will work things out without attorneys and that we will try to do our best um, to discuss things via emails and texts so that way there's um, always something to fall back on in case we need to go back to our attorneys. Um, and I apologize. I didn't know. Um, I really didn't know what was going on with Mr. Friedman. Um, they just a week after we um, were in the court courtroom, they um, signed a, sent me a letter with with withdrawal from my case and have not tried. I tried to contact them several times 
for my um, FDF and several of my other statements, and they will not respond back to me. So that's why I had to hire an attorney to help me get through and some of my with my other financial or um, prior prior litigation because. Unfortunately, I do not know enough about the court procedures to respond back to Ms. Roberts, and, some, and I'm not sure if that would be, if that's something I'm supposed to be doing, because unfortunately, I didn't have any guidance with that. Okay. Uh, I think $7,500 is a uh, reasonable amount, having looked at the um, exhibits that Ms. Roberts was permitted to put into my case <laughs> for... Uh, attorney fees. The um, your attorney asked to did a notice of withdrawal after he signed off, I believe, on or before even he signed off on the on the order. That's correct. But he had an obligation to sign off on the order if it was accurate. Yes, you were so, to do so. Right. So um, that was done in an appropriate way. Um, I am of a mind to do this. Uh, you've asked for $100 a month. I believe that's reasonable for two years. And then after that, we're going to go up to 200 a month until he gets paid off. I think that that's fair. It uh, gives some, you can pay it off early if you want to, if you can get that opportunity, if you get more jobs or whatever, that, that you can uh, expand that. But uh, if you miss a payment, this is a judgment, and they can garnish your wages or do any other form of, um, collection that they have at their legal hands. Okay? All right, so you'll prepare that order? Yes, sure. Ms. When will the payments start? Um, July. July 1st. 1st. Perfect, John. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Thank you both. Just a minute, Ms. Roberts. I'll yes, sure. hear this for my records. You have to get this order. I'm not requiring a sign off. It's pretty simple. That's right. Okay, and that will conclude these proceedings. We'll talk to you later, sir. We're going to hang up on you now. I don't want to be rude. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Dial tone.